Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So good day again everyone. Today what we would be uh, learning about is how to get the sum and difference of two terms. Okay. So we ma, first thing we need to know is uh, we need to identify whether a given is is under this uh, special product. Okay. So this is under the special product. Okay. So if it is under this special product of sum and difference of two terms, which is we will call this as our SDTT. Okay. So to identify whether the given is under SDTT, we must uh, know first the structure of the basic structure of SDTT, which is of course, um, let me just write it in another color, which is of course um, x plus y times x minus y is equal to x squared minus y squared. So what is, uh, what is uh, stated here is this one. We must be concerned about this one first. That if your given would have the same terms but different operations, okay, like uh, for specifically you have the plus or the sum of those two terms and here and the, the, the difference of those two terms, okay, it would fall under sum and difference of two terms. And this would be the answer. So we would discuss this one later on, okay. So for example, um, we have say x plus 2 times x minus 4. Okay, is this under SDTT? Firstly, yes, it's sum and difference. So meron, we have this plus and minus thing going on here. Okay, so therefore, yes, it could be under sum and difference. But the next thing would be two terms like x2 and x2. So, these things, this x and x, it must be the same. And this 2 and 4, it must be the same. But considering this given that they are not, they do not have the same terms, okay? Therefore, this is not SDTT, okay? And SDTT will fall only under specific givens like x plus 2 times x minus 2. So, you can ask yourself, sir, is this SD, I am... Um, is this SDTT? So you ask yourself. And if the answer would be, it has a plus and minus, okay, and it has the same term. We have x and 2, x and 2. Then therefore, therefore it is definitely yes. This is SDTT. Okay. That is the one, uh, the very first important thing that you must be able to identify. If the given will have the two same two terms and have addition and subtraction. Okay, another example. Say we have x squared minus um, y and we have x squared plus y. So if you may ask me, sir, um, this is not ano, this is not SDTT, sir. Why? Because sir, ano, it's minus and plus and you did told me that it's plus and minus. But the thing about this one is it can be interchanged. Pwede pong magkapalit yung plus and minus. Why is that? So this is of course multiplication, right? And in multiplication, 2 times 3, negative 3, is also equal to negative 3 times 2. It will give you both negative 6. Same goes on this. O pwede siyang pagpalitin. Long as, it has the same terms. x squared and y, x squared and y. So, it's the same. Therefore, it's still under, yes, it's S, D, T, T. Okay? After identifying it is a, if it, it is SDTT, the next thing that you need to know is you need to get the you need to get the sorry for my you need to get the square of that given term. So what I mean what do I mean by that? So the very first rule of the SDTT. Okay, so now we go to the rules. Rule number one is let me change the color. Okay. Rules. Number one is get the square of the first and second term. Get nyo daw yung square ng first and second term. And the next rule, two rules lang tayo, is we just simply get the difference of the results. Of the results of step, I know, let's change the, no, it's not step number one. Okay, let's use it as step A and step B. Okay, get the difference of the results of 
step A. Okay? So, kukunin nyo yung difference ng results ng step A. So, what would happen there would be like this. If we would apply it in, ano, in an example. Okay? So, sabi daw dito, example say we have x plus 2 and x minus 2. Okay? Ang sabi daw dito, on the first step, uh, or step A, I mean, you take the first term, which is, of course, we only have two terms, x and 2. Okay, so we only take one. So we take the first term, and we get the square of that. And x squared is just simply x squared. Okay? And then we take the second, which is 2, and then we get the square of 2, which is, of course, simply 4. And what would happen there is you will take your answers in the step A, okay? and just simply get the difference. And this would be your final answer already. Get the difference. So, it would be x squared. Let's write it in orange. x squared minus 4. Or maybe let's write it in a different color. Let's use green. Okay. x squared minus 4. That would be the answer. Okay? That would be the answer. It's a little it's easy actually in solving SDP. But you just have to remember about the concept of exponents. Okay, it's a little bit ano, um, important. I know. It's very important to know the concept of exponents for variables. Why? Kasi ano, um, some students get confused about that. Will they multiply it or will they add it? Okay? So, first let's identify this is SDTT, definitely. So, our first rule, rule letter A, would be get the two terms and get the square of them. Okay, so we have 3 and squared. x squared, y cubed, squared, and then we have 3 squared. This one and then this one. Okay, so evaluating this one, kasi you might be confused, sir, i-add lang by exponent or i-multiply? In getting the power of a power, you multiply. So this is x squared squared. The answer is x raised to 4. This is x cubed squared, 3 times 2. The answer is just simply 6. Y raised to 6. And x at uh, 3 squared, if you can use your calculator, this is just simply 9. And lastly, step letter B, what do we need to do? We need to get the difference of your final, sorry, of your answer, final answer in step letter A. So it's x squared minus, um, y raised to 6 minus 9. And if you may ask again, Sir, can I interchange their position? No, you cannot change the position. Kung sinong na na, whoever is first should be first. Okay, whoever is first should be first. So if x squared y cubed is the first, then it should be the first on your answer. Giving you a final answer of x raised to 4 y raised to 6 minus 9. Very easy. I would say so, yes. Yeah. Okay, I would say so. I mean, okay. So, let's have another example. Um, say we have, um, say, 4 minus um, 3x squared. Yeah. Say we have this given. Times 4 my plus 3x squared. So, our rule will stand still. Our rule would stand still as you take the first term, okay, you get the square of the first term, you take the second term, and then you get the square of the second term. And the square of the first term, which is 4 squared, will give us 16. And as for this one, distributive, what do you mean distributive? You give the 2, the square to 3, and the x. Okay, giving the square to 3 will give us 3 squared, being... Yeah, 3 squared being 9, and x squared squared being x raised to 4. You multiply. Remember, multiply. This one, it's 3 times 3. Okay? So, next, step letter B, we need to subtract, get the difference of the answers in step letter A. Okay? 
And finally, your answer would be 16 minus 9 x raised to 4. So, I would believe that your enemy here would be exponent. Okay? So, let me just discuss to you a little bit something about exponents. Exponents. Okay? Exponents are repetitive multiplication. Or repetitive multiplication. For example, I have 3 squared. The answer is 3 times 3 or simply 9. If I have x squared, the answer is x times x or just simply x squared. For letter, it would be the same. Okay, for letter, it would be the same. The same goes. If I have, say, x squared squared, so it's going to be x squared times x squared. Right? And x squared is just simply x times x this one and this one is also x times x giving us how many x do we have we have four x's or in short we multiply this one two times two is four for example again if we have x cube that is square so what would happen is if i will have x cube here times x cube or being this one is also equal to x times x times x this one is also equal to x times x times x. How many x do we have? We have 6 x's. Or just simply, let's try to multiply this one. It would still be the same. Okay? And the same goes, guys, if you would have this one. Yeah. What would happen? This would be 3 squared times x squared. And 3 squared is 3 times 3. And x squared is equal to x times x. And what is 3 times 3? The answer is 9. But x times x is just simply x squared. Okay? And lastly, let's have something more complicated. 3x squared y cubed z raised to 4. It will give us squared. It would give us 3 squared x squared squared y cubed squared z raised to 4 squared. What would happen there? Shortcut multiply the exponent 3 squared is just simply 9 for numbers it would be evaluation but on this one 2 times 2 x raised to 4 let's have another one next one 2 times 3 the answer is 6 y raised to 6 2 sorry 2 times 4, the answer is 8, so therefore we will have z raised to 8. And this would be how you express the given in squares. Okay, And this would be very important when it comes to evaluating our SDTT. Okay? So again, if you would have any other questions um, regarding our um, discussion, you can just simply uh, um, rewatch the video or just simply ask me in our class. Okay? So if you um again thank you everyone for listening and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh